Welcome to this PRE Power Developers Partner Day. The idea of today is that you network as well, that you get to know each other. First, I want to give Menno Cardolis, the CEO of PRE, a really warm welcome. Welcome everybody, um, 30 years PRE. I hope we can inform you today on all the new developments about to come. This is nice, the V2G system could possibly save 40, 60 billion euros in Holland. What we did, we designed a system which is combining PV, which is combining charging and combining inverters. So these three boxes are put in one box together and this is what we designed with PRE. Usually they start with AC charging, they get a bit of taste of the business and sooner or later they want to go for DC charging. And we're out there to help them. And I think what's, what makes us powerful is that we look further than just what does the customer want. We try to understand his challenge uh, with selling this product and designing this product for his end customer. There's a lot of things currently under development and it will come in future because higher voltages, more power to charge on, for instance, with respect to DC charging. I'm working about 20 years right now in, uh, in standardization, in all kinds of fields of standardization. And everything which is going on in the e-mobility business, charging of vehicles and electrical vehicles itself, I've never seen that before. Um, PRE sponsors us, not only just financially, but also in providing us something really cru crucial. We need a very good charger, and that's something that PRE develops for us specifically. And just to give you an impression of how good we are, well, we're in the top 10. The smart grid. Does anybody know what a joke that is, the smart grid? Because the grid at the moment, what, it is, what is it now? Completely stupid. Why can we not buy electric cars? If you buy a nice electric car, you have the Jaguar and you want to buy it. What is the problem? The batteries. And at the moment there's 300 factories in, in, uh, in China which are building battery factories. And this one can drive at the moment 36,000 miles. So they drive everywhere, all over the city in Phoenix. They have hundreds of cars driving there and they drive 36,000 miles without any human touching the wheels. The computer needs to be 10 times better before we'll accept it. I really could give a, um, really care about uh, who, what or when it charges. The only thing I want to know, just like with public transport, I want to know it's there when I leave. Does and I want to be sure to. Yeah. it's gonna Get, get me to yeah. my destination yeah. without any delays or roundabouts or any other problems. No. Good afternoon. I have a somewhat different opinion. I believe in the uh, wireless uh, charging option or remote uh, charging. And I think that will actually be become the reality. Uh, basically by driving over a road, over a charging point which is charged by solar energy. To be honest, I am from a background of electrical engineering. I don't believe in movable parts. They are expensive, they break down, they need a lot of maintenance, etc., etc. So everything what is moving, robot hand. Robot hand is a very expensive tool. And if it's just a charging spot to plug in the car once in the three hours, it's a waste of money. Robot has to work continuously 24 hours. So in the whole thinking, charging full is only when you do that very long distance and you need the full to get the next, but even then. So a full tank is, is something from the petrol era. 